I'm not angry, I'm just disappointed. Hello and welcome back to my channel. As you can tell by the title, I will be testing the Juvia's Place I Am Magic Foundation. The reason why you're already thinking, oh, Carolina, what's wrong with it? I shall tell you what's wrong with it. Beauty Bay doesn't stock this foundation yet. I don't think they will. They don't seem to be up to date with Juvia's Place's releases. So I had to buy it from Juvia's Place. You will not believe how much I paid for it. I'm not gonna count it in dollars because I live in the UK. I pay in British pounds. Altogether, I paid 37 pounds 19 pence and that's already including trend moods discount code so if i paid the full price without any discount i would have had to pay 38 pounds 70 pence which is pretty much 39 pounds which is pretty much 40 pounds <sighs> i think i lied i'm not not angry i'm furious <laughs> And there's more to the story so if you would like to know why I'm raging and why I paid so much and at the end of the day I will be doing a wear test on my oily acne prone skin so if you would like to know what coverage it has how long it wears sorry about the negative intro just keep on watching <laughs> Before I start, I do want to talk about the pricing because I kind of have to get that negative energy out. Let me tell you the full story. I had an alarm set for the release of this foundation, so I was in there. I somewhat knew my shade and I bought it straight away. My confirmation email which says your order has been shipped was on the 22nd of May. Today, as I'm filming this, is the 5th of June. That's not all. Sometimes you do have to wait for your parcel for a long time and it is frustrating but the most frustrating part for me, the foundation itself is $20, roughly £17 and I paid £37 which means I paid more shipping cost, more customs than I have for the product itself. In comparison, if that doesn't tell you anything, £37 is... How much is double wear? Double wear is £28, so I paid more from this foundation than I did for double wear. Even Lancome Taint a Doll doesn't cost that much. So for me, in Britain, this was not affordable and when people say, oh, you know, you have to expect shipping, you have to expect customs, okay, but that just makes me want to not buy from that brand. But yeah, I've rambled enough, I think. I'm just ready to try this out. It is so exciting because it does look so full coverage. You want to see it as well, so I need to shut up, I need to build a bridge, get over it. Let's zoom you in and let's get on. This took so long to ship that they have managed to release a setting powder. Take a trip around the world with Juvia's Place and our brand new I Am Magic foundation formulas. From Sedan to Marisol, our 42 expertly formulated shades are globally inspired for long-lasting, all-day wearability. I Am Magic foundation was designed for all skin tones from the deepest dark to the fairest fair. Live your magic with Juvia's Place. Like I said, I got this on the release day and I was like, in there. I quickly wanted to get my shade. I didn't really look at it all that much. I saw the pictures of the models on Trend Mood and I was like, right, okay, which one am I? I don't think I'm the fairest fair. So I went with 700 Vienna. This is it. This is what the compartment looks like. I love the orange. It's just something new, nothing matte about it or anything. And I love it this um picture here i don't have to tell you that jovia's place has a fantastic shade range in this foundation especially for darker skins if you're the like the most delicious chocolatey brown you'll find your shade in there so this is the bottle or should i say tube 
what does it say apply product with a wet sponge or synthetic makeup brush with a sweeping and buffing motion all over the face i think there is something on the box as well radiant long lasting creamy and comfortable our second skin creamy foundation offers a smooth application with a soft natural and soft matte finish to give a flawless coverage a great formula to even out the complexion refine skin texture and erase blemishes maintaining the initial finish throughout the day suitable for all skin types including sensitive and oily skin i'm one of those okay i'm not gonna ramble too much take this off and i'm gonna <clears throat> take a, a big pea size quite thick doesn't really want to move as always i'm going to start one side with a sponge and maybe try the brush on the other they do say either should work let's do it okay i am so pleasantly surprised this is my face after one layer of the foundation in comparison to my bare face and this is more severe side and it covered it pretty well this is yeah it really is my idea of full coverage and it does feel very lightweight i do love the finish it's like a, a matte finish but what's the word that they use soft matte finish it really is a soft matte finish it looks like skin that's been graced with powder i really really like it and <laughs> can we see the shade match pretty good i'm very proud of myself let's try the brush on the other side and you know what surprisingly it's not streaky with the brush so if you do prefer to use a brush you can with this foundation i personally prefer a sponge i'm going to quickly do that on my other side and then we can do cream bronzer to see whether it's too matte but so far i am a very very liking this foundation god damn it this might actually replace my l'oreal infallible 24 hour fresh wear i really like how this looks and i wanted to hate it because of the price but look at it this is both of the sides with the foundation in comparison to my bare face i'm going to use revolution matte base concealer in 13.5 to warm myself up i like to do this because some foundations are too dry and they just don't mix well with different formulas um let's see of course it's gonna work it's dubious place they really did do a good job with this foundation oh does it have a scent nope no scent i love it god damn beauty bay get on this please okay let me conceal my under eyes i'm using collection last imperfection yeah everything just works magically i'm going to do the rest of my makeup off camera and we're gonna wear this foundation throughout the day it is currently half 10 let's go juvia's place Ooh, i'm creasing I'm creasing on my forehead i'm gonna have to powder my forehead other than that it looks pretty brilliant <laughs> let's move the hair out of the way and let's do a check-in it has been three hours been quite busy and as you can see i have a little bit of dewiness i have some thoughts yeah you can totally see this line this one right here it collects it collects on my forehead so if you do have a lot of wrinkles it's not gonna look good on you i might even blot let's do that some transfer not a lot though but it blots quite nicely for three hours it doesn't look bad i wish it wasn't as shiny but it wasn't entirely matte when I finished. It was more like a, a natural finish. And this for me is still quite a natural looking finish. I like it. Looks good. One thing is that it collects. Feels great on the skin. Not heavy at all. 
very good coverage it hasn't disappeared from my jawline not yet anyway and so far so good half three so it's been five hours since i've put this foundation on and you guys it is nice and long lasting look at my jaw if you've been here for a while you'd know that by this time you would be able to see a lot more acne peeking through but overall it's not bad it's just ever so slightly patchy on my forehead so i think it's just like the sweat me playing with my hair i did have my fringe down earlier so it could have been that i don't think i look oily um i could blot but i'm not going to i kind of like this it doesn't feel uncomfortable let's see hmm a little bit of cakiness here in this area and then in this area especially this patch right here and a little bit of cakiness like around my nostrils I always love doing these super close shots because we can see that it looks really nice on my cheeks and on my nose to be fair so I'm happy let's keep going eight hours in and i just need to blot badly because i can feel the oil on my face so let me do that first and i'm back <laughs> however look at that that's that, that that's bad to be perfectly honest it doesn't look bad because it is eight hours in and it hasn't come off as much as some of my foundations but it is separating on my forehead you can just see like patches on my forehead hmm. I mean I'm gonna wear this for 10 maybe 12 hours even so far it is nice long wearing it doesn't combat my oil as much as I'd like it to but I did not powder and you could and then I think it would like last a little bit longer let's keep this wear test going sorry about the washing in the background <laughs> okay you guys an hour number 10 and this is what I look like I do have my studio light on so I do look very shiny I am shiny but <laughs> It looks uh, extra shiny because of that because of that light I wasn't gonna blot but I am going to because it's a little bit easier to see what I'm seeing when it's not as shiny because it's not reflecting light I did a terrible job apparently because <laughs> I'm still reflecting light a little bit but as you can see on my forehead right here I did show you this before the foundation did not manage to stay on my face did not combat uh, the oiliest part of my face which is my forehead the foundation fell apart but it looks very nice under the eye which is where I powdered that was the only place I powdered please me to believe that if you were to powder this foundation even a little bit it would stay on a little bit longer I'm very surprised to see majority of my cheek is covered yes you can see that the foundation has slowly disappeared and the coverage is no longer as good as it was at the beginning but that's like with any foundation really and this amount of um, rub off it looks very very good is it worth 37 pounds i don't think it's worth that however if you do get it in america if you're over there if um you don't have to pay 13 pounds and then customs as well it is totally worth it 20 dollars is probably about 17 pounds actually how much would it have been without customs 25 pounds around 25 pounds i somewhat still would be happy to pay but you can see this line here and oh yeah i did use powder on my forehead hmm yeah i wouldn't pay 25 quid for this actually it's very nice like the minute i put it on it was so good i thought i was gonna love it i thought it was going to replace my l'oreal 24 hour fresh wear i might even give it another try and use it in my next test 
Look what came in the mail today. The Huda Beauty Resting Boss Face Setting Spray. Let me know if you would like to see this in action. I hope you have enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to like, comment, subscribe. Let me know if you want to see that video. Let me know if you've enjoyed this video. You are the best. I hope to see you next time.